Try me. Try me. I'm joking. Don't try me, please. Honestly, my life is hard enough. Don't try me. Try somebody else. In fact, try Jesus. Try Jesus. I look good. <laughs> look like your problems it's okay to not look like your problems you don't have to look like your problems we have a moment of silence to commemorate the people who smile and their upper lip is gone they can't do hmm. Um, welcome back to my youtube channel it's a dose of nefemi and if you're new here welcome my name is nefemi and to my bulgarian subscribers double dosh leave of my youtube canal as some nefemi um today is gonna be a makeup tutorial um yeah for this very 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 summery look i apologize the tutorial is a little bit chaotic um you guys know what i'm like you might know what i'm like by now um yeah the tutorial is a bit chaotic but just yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and keep watching if you want to see how i achieve this look first things first obviously as this is all about summer make sure you've got your spf on guys come on make sure you're protecting yourself from those horrible 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 nasty uv rays all right let's get into it um i um the spf that i use is the bondi sans face spf oh my skin oh my skin oh. the spf i use is the bondi sans spf let's just get straight into it so first things first i'm going in under my eye with the elf hydrating camo concealer satin finish i don't like matte finishes i tend to go for satin um and i got this in the shade deep olive i've used this before and i've explained um I've used this before and I've explained that I do this step to just give a nice goldenness to my skin. Then I just go in with, uh, I don't, I forgot what this kind of brush is called, like it's literally left me, but just this, I think it's a stippled, I can't remember. I go in with this kind of brush and I just blend, 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 until I'm happy. I tend to keep it in this nice triangle over here. So I just blend until I'm happy with. Um, so I've just applied some Bobbi Brown I've done it really messily. I am so sorry. Um, I'm gonna be going in with the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation SPF 15. Um, as you can see, I don't think I've used a lot. No. Um, usually, I would mix this with the L'Oreal Paris Concealer, L'Oreal Paris True Match Foundation in the shade 8N. Uh, this one. But as it's a summer look, I'm not gonna do that today um yeah so then i'm just gonna go ahead and start blending this doesn't look like my shade on camera but i promise you it actually is um, i'm just gonna go and start blending that out um with this beauty blender so you can see it's literally um oh my god it's literally a skin finish like it literally looks like second skin and uh yeah this is the kind of um this is the kind of foundation oh shit got some foundation in my hair have not yeah i have anyway the show must go on but this is the kind of foundation that you really wear in the summer because it is like second skin very 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 natural and yeah so i'm blending this out with a damp beauty blender but not wet damp not wet and i'm doing it gently do you remember what i said in my last video about makeup don't do this stop stop <laughs> um so I'm just blending it out um, gently. As you guys can see, this foundation literally looks like second skin, but I looked in the mirror and I started feeling insecure about all my scars that this foundation hides on some days and other days it doesn't hide it. So I'm just gonna go over my hyperpigmentation of the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 420. I had a scar here. Maybe it has covered it up, I don't know. But I'm just gonna cover my scars with the Fenty Beauty Concealer. I will blend this out with um, my Beauty Blender as well. So, okay, that is much, that is much better. That is much better. Right. <laughs> All right, so I'm now gonna go under my eye with um, the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. 
um, in the sh most of my com complexion products, I think, are Fendi in the shade 360. Um, yes, yeah, so I just put it under my eye in this region here and then in this region here. Um, I can't front, I would usually wear more concealer, but because I'm doing uh, like a summery look today, oh, I don't know if that's even, because I'm doing a summery look today, I'm not gonna go ham. And then I put it in the middle of my nose, on, on that Cupid's bow as well, because honey, all right. Right, so this concealer, I blend it out. Oh, why is my voice sounding so deep? But I blend out this concealer with this kind of brush. I think I literally, I don't know why my English is leaving me today. Let me just do this closer so you can see. So, um, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry about the crumbs. Um, I am eating. I am eating. So I take my time to do this. Honestly, I can spend a long time doing my base. So I just use this brush to blend, 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 blend. Oh, this is so mundane. <laughs> this is so mundane, but the difference between this is, you know, I told you how the beauty blender sometimes can steal a bit of product. Well, honey, this is, this is a Fenty. This is the F-E-N-T-Y, F-E-N-T-Y. -E so, um, this stuff's not cheap, you know? So, um, no thieves here. So I just blend, 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 and it just takes a while and i'm blending and we're still blending sometimes i let a bit of it get on my creases too we're still blending still blending maybe i'll go over some of this with my with my beauty blender yeah i think i'm happy with that my makeup tutorials are always a mess because the first step of everything is usually to prime it doesn't matter at this point because obviously I'm not actually going anywhere, am I? And the other thing I do is my brows. I don't do my eyebrows first because I'm not pathetic. That was a joke. Not that anyone's gonna know because I have like a couple hundred subscribers, but just like, I also put this brow gel. It is the most random brow gel mixed with aloe vera. I put this on my brows gently, gently, gently. And I leave that to set usually while I do the rest of my makeup. My eyebrows have recently become the last step in my makeup routine, as in the last thing I do after like literally everything. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, now this is a new step in my makeup routine that no one would have really seen before. Um, yeah, but so I got this leap, leap, leap. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I got this lip and cheek tin um, from B. Um, by I think it's yeah B by Superdrug. Um, so I use this in two different ways. Sometimes I get like a thin brush and I do lines and then I blend it out. Other times I get I think this brush is called I've called everything a stippled brush now, so I must be lying. And then I just place it across my cheeks. It's as you can see, I don't think this is too strong. Um, so before I I am gonna go in with another lighter concealer, but I just place this around my cheek area like so um to give myself that nice rosiness and then the fenty beauty br bronzer that i will use eventually is gonna like make this pop so yeah i do this on both sides okay so i think i look um a little bit scary <laughs> but i look cute i think this um lip and cheek tin is the most perfect thing for uh, like a no makeup makeup day um let me know if you want me to film uh like an in-depth tutorial on my updated no makeup makeup tutorial so then what i do is i get this beauty blender and i just buff it out so that it's not too scary but this is kind of cute okay this is kind of cute right and then the next step is to go in with my brightest concealer because i love a really bright under eye on any occasion when you're dressing up when you're doing your makeup a little bit lighter like i am doing today just a little bit lighter than usual not really lighter so i just place the concealer here and here and yeah just a just a few drops here and here and yeah and yeah that's pretty much it i leave it for a few why is my accent doing this oh this is this is really a, there's a lot going on upstairs isn't there 
so I leave it for a few um, like minutes for it to get a bit you know and then I blend it out with this brush um, after my snack break Um, I have been blending out this concealer with this brush. Um, I do this honestly so gently. Oh, is my hand? My hand's ashy, but I do this so gently, like so. So gently, so gently, like so, so gently, so gently. Okay, and then I am now setting my makeup. Um, I just dab off the excess off the brush and I set just like this by pressing the powder. By pressing the powder into like oh, let me move my mirror by pressing the powder into my under eye region like so um i always get asked quite often actually what setting powder i use it's a mix of a few oh let me not set my eyes because um i'm i need to put some concealer on them but oh, oh that's actually too much that's more than what i would use but i'm not concentrating um so yeah i just press it in and if there's any excess i will brush it away <coughs> um yeah i set my nose just basically my under eye region oh she's giving us matte um so i set my under eye region and i also set my um smile lines because god the, the smile lines that have not smile lined before they smile line on my face so now to set the bottom region of my face here i use the l'oreal true match um super blendable powder in the shade 9n because obviously um yeah i just i never put setting powder um in this region so i put this powder here to mattify oh god to mattify it and then I also put some on my forehead as well. Um, ever since I think watching Mella Child's videos, I stopped putting loads of makeup on my forehead. Um, I just had a quite a weird malfunction with my bronzer. So I absolutely will not be including that in this video. Like not a chance. Um, so basically to explain, I, oh, I go in with the Makeup Revolution Splendor, Splendor Ultra Matte bronzer in the shade medium dark i go in in this region in this region here and here and then i also put like a drop on my nose there and there but like i said um i don't know if i have said this on my channel before but my friends and stuff will know i'm not a fan of nose contour i don't believe in nose contour for reasons i will not state on my channel as this is not a political channel but yeah um what is next Oh, let's get some blush on. Okay, so um, next I'm gonna be blushing, doing some blush with the Fenty. Oh, why does it, why does it look so dirty? Oh my God, how embarrassing. Oh my God. With the, I mean with back. With the Fenty Beauty um, Sunstalker Bronzer in Mocha Mami. Um, obviously, I know that this is a bronzer, but this bronzer is the most perfect shade of blush I have ever owned in my like entire life. So I just, and I know it already looked like I had blush on, but I'm just going to put a little bit more like so with this massive buffer brush. Um, yeah, that, that is all. And then do the same on the other side. And then put some blush on my nose um if you ever feel like your blush is doing too much the beauty blender you've used for your concealer just get it and go over it um i didn't really need to do that because i actually like the amount i love what my base looks like right now i could probably go out like this so we're gonna do eyes next yeah so i'm just gonna go in with the um, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Longwear Concealer that's apparently 16 hour wear. Um, I'm saying apparently, but I actually think it is 16 hours of wear. So um, I've just put some on the back of my hand. I'm gonna go in with this brush here. And then I'm going to, this is why I can do my eyebrows last. I'm going to like pretend conceal
you see that so i've concealed like how i would normally conceal if um i was doing my eyebrows and i know you're probably thinking uh oh, why don't you just do your eyebrows because i don't want to yeah because i don't want to <laughs> that was so aggressive <laughs> more aggressive than i intended. okay now this is the point in my in the tutorial where i start to look like a crazy person um well my eyebrows start to look crazy don't you guys think it's crazy that my natural brows look like this though like i have come such a long my year 11 self is shaking because that girl had no eyebrows she had no eyebrows and look at how my natural brows are looking anyway so um now that i'm done blending this out uh let me prep for some eyeshadow uh yeah Let's prep for some eyeshadow. <laughs> Skin. Ooh, niffy, niffy, niffy. You're creasing, you're creasing, you're creasing. Stop, 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 stop. You're creasing. Okay, so um, to do the eyeshadow look we're doing today, um, we need to prime our lids. So um, I'm going to be using that bright concealer I used to brighten my under eye the Maybelline um, Fit Me Matte um, Concealer in the, it's not Fit Me Matte, it's just Fit Me Concealer in the shade 25. I'm going to use this and then I'm going to blend this out. And this color is going to be the center of my lid show. So I have just a crumb, you can't even see, of setting powder on the brush I used to set my under eye. I'm just gonna dab it in my crease so this area is not like wet not wet but it's not got the like concealer on it that's not dry and then let's let's get into this eyeshadow i'm pulling this face because of the name of the eyeshadow that i'm using today so today i'm going to be using the patricia bright rich in life palette and the main star of the show today is going to be this color here called try me which means try me try me i'm joking don't try me please honestly my life is hard enough don't try me try somebody else in fact try jesus try jesus so um i've only ever used this brush once before as in from the last time i washed it and it was with this eyeshadow so don't judge me thank you thanks so i'm just gonna press and when i say press i mean press because obviously this eyeshadow palette is amazing but it is also a drugstore so press and then we're gonna press it on our lids gently oh 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 do you see the pigment Woo! ciao ciao so we're just gonna press it gently like so very gently and i'm gonna do this to literally the end of my lid to make this semicircle. so just keep pressing i'm pressing don't worry if it falls out onto your um like skin well i mean if you've not set your makeup i would worry um but because you've set it it'll brush straight off so just keep pressing so just keep pressing till you have something similar to this now today i want to elongate my eyeshadow so this is all about the orange so we're not going to actually use a beige transition shade we're just gonna dab into the orange lightly like so just lightly lightly and we're gonna blend it out using the same color we did the the um main crease color with just blending it out using the same color that we did the crease color with. Like so. Like so. And then I'm gonna add, I'm gonna dab here at the end of my crease because I want that orange to really go far and then I'm just gonna buff it out. Like so. So, um, yeah, I've just done repeating the same to the other eye and I decided to add some orange in my tear duct over here. Oh, because I'm loving it. I love what it looks like. Yeah. And then just extend the orange a little bit in your under eye. How did I say that just then? Oh my God. 
to just extend some of the orange into your under eye like so. Ooh, it's coming together. Um, and I think, I think, I'm gonna add, I need to add something cold to my under eye. Um, so I'm gonna go in with Risk Taker. These names are so fitting because um, this is really a risk because if this doesn't look nice, I'm gonna get really pissed off. Okay. I have to open my eye really widely because I want to. Okay, I like it. I'm gonna do the same to the other eye. Um, so I'm just gonna draw some beauty spot some beauty spots with the collection fast stroke um, eyeliner um, I tend to always put beauty spots where I have a spot at the moment where I have a glaring spot at that moment that I don't really like uh, I always do one here as well maybe I'll do one here yeah oh ooh, ooh, my hair is stuck on it yeah um, that's it I'm gonna do my mascara. For my mascara, I'm gonna be going in with some random ass mascara. So don't worry about it. I left my mascara in. I left I left my mascara in Bulgaria. Um, yeah, so don't worry about it. I'm gonna do my mascara off camera because I look quite ugly when I do it. My mouth does. So um, I'll be back to. Oh my god, I'll be back to do my eyebrows. <laughs> My brows usually take literally less than a minute to do. I'm gonna be using the Illa Mask Eyebrow Cake in the shade Gaze and the Rummel London Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Black Brown. Um, yeah, I don't do much to them. Just light strokes. Yeah, light strokes are like so. Filling in all the gaps. Um, yeah okay i am um, why are my hands so ashy guys i look good <laughs> i look good or more in this life yeah don't look like your problems it's okay to not look like your problems you don't have to look like your problems because me i have so many problems will you know that no you don't Okay, um, to jazz up this look a little bit more, I'm gonna draw some dots underneath my eyes with the uh, Collection Fast Stroke Eyeliner, but in the shade white instead of black. I'm gonna do one here, one here, and one here. And then on the other side, here, here. And here looks so jazzy it doesn't have to be like symmetrical on both sides I don't really care for that um, what's left lipstick lipstick and settings um, for lipstick I'm going to be going in with the essence oh mm. look at how cute I look I'm gonna be going in with the essence 08 Kajal pencil the Essence Kajal Pencil in the shade 08. Nifemi, English. English. My God. Okay. Uh, I like to slightly... Oh, I might have to do this off camera. Because mm, sometimes I look ugly when I'm overlining my lip. Um, One second. So, I like to overline my lip. Because I wish my lips were a little bit bigger. But I mean, I thank God that I have an upper lip. Can we have a moment of silence to commemorate the people who smile and their upper lip is gone? They can't do who? They can't do who? Without this thing just disappearing. We, we um, commemorate you guys. Sorry, yeah? Sorry. Um, okay, so that is it.
you see i am worried this video is gonna be too long but anyway if you like watch if you don't like don't watch it like i can't do it i can't do much about it if you want to watch watch if you don't want to watch don't watch there's not much i can do about it uh the lip i'm the lipstick i'm gonna be going in with is the fancy gloss bomb cream in the shade honey waffles in the shade honey waffles gloss bomb cream got my lips son love me okay Juicy, right? Juicy. I'm gonna be setting my makeup with the e.l.f. Makeup and Mist. Um, oh yeah, I forgot that um, I have, I mixed my setting spray, um, the e.l.f. Makeup and Mist with rose water. I mix every single setting spray I have with rose water. I always tend to do that um, because I don't know what it is, but me and rose water were like, were like, um i think that is it now the rest of this can just be me flirting with my camera and you guys having to watch that <laughs> okay so we're at the end of the tutorial this is the finished look if you got this far thank you so much god bless you jesus loves you and um I'll see you in my next video. Bye.